we know the hospitality industry is struggling to find workers, but are robots really the solution? One Melbourne restaurant thinks so and has put Bella on its books. But would you tip this waitress? Beneath one of Melbourne's famous city laneways, you'll find Duty Paidang Thai Restaurant. Inside, the kitchen is as busy as any other city spot, with hard-working chefs stirring, slicing, sizzling and frying. But it's the way the food is delivered that's filling up the tables at Duty, with Bella the robot leading the waitstaff, gliding the aisles with their own soundtrack. It's part of a 21st century ordering process that may represent the future of dining. The automated process begins before the robot even arrives. Accessing the menu and ordering your food is all done with your smartphone. The request then travels through cyberspace to the kitchen where the meals are prepared and loaded onto Bella. The table number is keyed in and off goes this programmed cyber server with a 10 kilogram loading tray and sensor technology that avoids obstacles. And there it is. The machines are taking over and right now I'm not complaining. As we enjoyed the first of a few dishes to be delivered by robot, we sat down for a chat with Bella's boss, Boone Lowe. Well, Boone, yes. cheers, because your restaurant's back open and the whole town's talking about it. Thank you. <laughs> Boone explains that Bella came to him via a robotics company who are keen to trial the technology in Melbourne. How long has Bella been working for you? Three weeks, approximately. And does she ever ask for annual leave? No, she doesn't, just electricity. <laughs> <laughs> just charge me up. <laughs> Bella's battery life can power the 55 kilogram robot for 24 hours, but Boone admits this wasn't something he'd considered until COVID changed his business forever. We used to operate from lunch to dinner seven days a week, and we find that being more and more difficult not just finding people but making it worthwhile for us. So this is where we see the robots being helpful. Bella is leased for between $50 and $60 a day. They work from um, 6 to the end of the night. Without complaint? Yeah. <laughs> we don't know if they do, they might speak binary. Whatever language Bella might speak, the customers only have good things to say about this Android attendant. This is my first time yes. to experience the robot. Yeah, it's, it's very good and convenient and less contact mm. Yeah, with, uh, with the staff. Fantastic. I, I really like it. It's really quick. Yeah, really quick service and very really convenient. I, I like it, yes. <laughs> and no rude service. Yeah? No complaint. <laughs> Thumbs up. Love it. Overall, in the workforce, we're going to see a lot more mechanisation and a lot more ro robotisation. Tim Piper from the Australian Industry Group says all sectors are looking at mechanical options. We're digitising. We're actually using robots in factories and areas like that to reduce the amount of labour that we need. And I think that's only going to continue. It's not a bad thing, by the way, because people will be able to move into other jobs, probably higher paying jobs. Meanwhile, back at Boone's booming Thai restaurant, there was one menu issue that needed settling. You can always tell a good Thai place by its green chicken curry. How is yours? Authentic, I hope. <laughs> that is the word, one word, authentic. <laughs> so the green chicken curry is authentic and the staff are cybernetic. Yeah, <laughs> partially. But the experience is wholly enjoyable. Even when the meal is over and it's time to say, see you later, Bella. Thank you.